good, YouTube? This your boy, Mr. B from Backyard Barbecue. And uh, we're going to do the thing today, man. Uh, part of the traffic coming through, whatnot. I mean, I am in a neighborhood. But anyway, let's get down to it, man. What's today's cook? I'm going to try some ham steak. If you don't know what I mean, stay tuned, man. This is something that uh, I've tried, done many a times. Great for breakfast. Remember that. Great for, great for breakfast, man. It goes good with uh, uh, eggs. Um, grits and the replacement of sausage and bacon or if you cook it for a lot of people man you can get ham steaks um, prices eh, depending on what, what time of year um, around Thanksgiving uh, usually when you can find them cheaper um, the cuts of any pig or any turkey um, is cheaper then so fun fact for the day stack up if you got a deep freezer stack up on oh, turkeys and hams during Thanksgiving, right before Thanksgiving or right afterwards. Price is totally cheaper. You can freeze them um, in, in the wrapper they come in. The turkeys are pretty much frozen anyway. Just stick them in your freezer, man. Pull them out throughout the year. Um, I wouldn't recommend cooking them after a year just because, you know, food starts to get freezer burn, burn around that time unless you got one of those uh, food savers. Um, if you got a food saver that a turkey will fit in, show me. That way I can prolong my turkeys and I can just fill up my deep freezers. Got two of them. Fill them up uh, with the freezer seal, and then we'll go from there. The food savers. Anyway, see the grill going. Got the uh, uh, nice and slow going. Um, heat is pretty decent right now. And uh, we're gonna go ahead. And we're gonna show you what this food, this ham steak is all about, and then we're gonna come back out and throw it on the grill after it marinate for about two hours. See you in the kitchen. We back, y'all. This your boy, Mr. Beef from Backyard Barbecue, and let me get a close up of that so y'all can see ham steak. I don't know. Can you see the price about seven dollars and some change for this let me show you the thickness of it you see that yeah, it's decent it's flimsy i'm gonna treat it just like ribs i got some yellow mustard this says spicy but i won't even tell later on remember pork by nature anything from pig is naturally salty um all we're gonna do is put some of this uh cajun injection uh hickory grill seasoning on there with the mustard and go for what we know, man. This should only take about, mm, I'm gonna probably do, since it's really not that thick, maybe 30 minutes each side. Um, and then go from there, we'll see how it turn out. Let's go and go to the grill, y'all. Real quick before we go, I want y'all to see this uh, out to the grill. I want y'all to see what it looked like with the mustard on there. Um, real simple, man. Just apply this hickory to it. Sit in the refrigerator for eh, about two hours because it's a thin piece of ham. And I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side. Get that center. Massage it into the meat. Not too hard. In about two hours, it'll be sweating, man. It'll be sweating. I'm gonna do the other side, then I'm gonna see y'all at the grill. All right, YouTube, we back. And uh, it's about that time to go ahead and put these ham steaks on the grill. Uh, well, one ham steak. Um, let me show you a real tr a trick I use when I'm cleaning off my grill or whatnot before we get started. Uh, let me turn this over this way so you can see it. A lot of people light they grill and then clean it off. That's exactly what I do. I come through, let the heat hit it, brush it off. Simple like that to get all your old meat. All right. Slide this over a little bit. Uh, if you can see the wood chips, let me show you those. All the wood chips in my little container. Those are mesquite. Mesquite from Kingsford. Pretty decent, I'm using more ham, so you definitely want that kind of taste. Go ahead and stick my top on. And I'm gonna slide that over to the grill in a minute. But first, let me show you something. Y'all, don't get rid of this right here. It's peanut oil when you're cooking for Thanksgiving. Take me a handy dandy little paper towel. Take the top off. Instead of you spending all your money on canola oil and stuff like that, it's great for uh, seasoning grills. Um, after you refurbish them, you know, sand them down and stuff like that. But all I do, take it, 
and lubricate my grill. After I've cleaned it off, I'm gonna go ahead and slide this over the fire so it can get that smoke started steady rolling. And that's how you keep your grapes from rusting out right there. Peanut oil. That expensive stuff that you throw out after the turkey. Yep. Anyway, let's get real to it. Ham steak. That's exactly what it looks like. A piece of steak. Gonna cook this about 30 minutes on each side, indirect. And then go from there. That's all it takes, man. This is already cooked. We just want to get it uh, good and tasty. So we'll be back in about 30 minutes. Flip it over. And I'll show you that. And then I'll show you the final product. Hang tight. And we're back. Let's go and take this top off. See what we got going on. Ooh, look at that. Let me give you a close-up of that. Man. Man, I want to pull out my knife right now and cut this thing. Anyway, we got to flip it over. It's been about... Uh, I said 30 minutes to be exact. It's been, hold on, give me a sec. I'm gonna flip it over. Make this side look the same way. Let me show you a close up so you can see what that looked like. The before and after effect. And we're gonna go from there. It was uh, 317, now it's four o'clock. So obviously that's not 30 minutes. So yeah. <coughs> About 43 minutes on that, so we're gonna do the same same thing with that side, and then let it go. So I'll be back in uh 43 minutes, y'all, with the final product. All right, y'all. Let's go and get this final look and see what it looked like. Woo! Man, look at that close up. Hell yeah, steak, y'all. Yes, sir. I'm gonna go ahead and take it in the house. I'm gonna cut it for y'all. Show you what it looked like. See you in a minute. All right, y'all. Let's see what this product looks like. Yep. Make sure you have a sharp knife, because this is ham. Yep. And I'm about to eat this. Anyway, this your boy. Mmm. Chewing on ham steak. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. All about eating good food, y'all. How's your boy?